And the way I got the way I made it out, the way yeah. I got everything done, <coughs> yeah. just quality, absolute quality. Yeah. Anything else specifically? No. Just perfect learning, wasn't it? I told them what they needed to know and. They record this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I told them what they needed to know and they went and did it. All right. Well, let's 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 just let's just cover that in a little bit. <coughs> then. Um, just just talk me through um, talk me through when you were demonstrating leg spin. Like ten miles, eh? It was perfect. Where I got all we started off, you know. I did the I did the underarm and then I sh went round arm and then I did the full demo and I went through just one stage and ended up doing the full thing. Excellent. Really. And, uh, and I agree. And actually, a very good very good demonstration in, in terms of the, the technical part of it. Um, just talk me through what we expect from a from a from a good demonstration. What, what have you what have you got to help you with this as well? Well I did it from four or five different angles. Um, did you? Yeah I think I did yeah. Did it from four or five different angles. Okay, my my, my observations were, were that you did it largely largely from side on. Especially in front in front of the whole group. <laughs> okay, just um, just talk me through then what, what what you could do differently if you did that again. Nothing to prepare. Okay, Right, let's move on. Um, talk me through when you were um, uh, instructing the lads around Austin and, and you gave a bit of a bit of an analogy around around doors. Well, you grab hold of the handle and you turn it. Right? Okay, which way do you open the door? Someone really well. What does it? What does it look and sound like? Well, I asked them. I asked them a few questions, and I asked them about the grip, and I got. They told me the answers that I already given them. So, Paul, oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> and anything you do differently around feeding back? <sighs> no, there's not. It's the rest, mate. Let's no. let's move on. So, <laughs> listen. <laughs> A number of competencies, and I'm pleased to say that you're 80% of the way there to being a competent ECB level coach. Only 80%. 80%. That's right. So what we've got here is we've got a few a few gaps, <coughs> <laughs> as we talked about. This will be yours to take away, and we're going to have a good look at those in the action plan. But the important thing is we're going to support you to be a competent coach. We're not going to leave you alone. We're not going to leave you in the lurch. But we're going to have a good chat about where you deploy and who you can work with to actually address some of these areas and, and come back, but, but have a bit of a timeline to work when you're going to come back. In the event that you're not happy with my decision, <laughs> <laughs> in the back of the handbook that you were sent in your pre-course, there is an appeals and complaints procedure, and you can follow that, and it goes through the details of what you need to do next. I believe your next port of call, if at the end of this you're still not happy, um, is to speak to the recognised centre manager and the contact is in your booklet. Well, what can I do? You can tell me what I can do. You've done a fair bit. <laughs> and what we need to 
to see more of in order to accredit competence in these areas, <laughs> developing relationships, technically correct instructions, technically correct demonstrations of providing feedback. We're going to talk about short. Action plan pursues, and then you wish I spoke well on his, on his journey. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm probably sure. laughs>